What's up? Chris Gardner here. Today I'm going to show you in Final Cut Pro 10.6 how we can make use of these new tracking uh, features to do something like this where we have this little uh, you know, map pin pointing out some point of interest that we might have in our footage. I use this a lot for real estate videos that I make but I will show you how you can uh, apply it to your own footage. So this is our example and let's just walk through it. So I'm just going to grab this one, duplicate it, and let's get rid of the track we had on there. Now we will add a new tracker and when you are picking your tracker uh, you should A pick something that is close to where you want your object attached to. So I'm going to attach it to this house and also consider that you want some kind of high contrast points because it'll make it easier on the software to keep track of what those points are doing. Uh, and also try and ensure that everything that is inside this bounding box is moving at the same pace. Because if let's say I have some of this house and some of this landscape here, the house is moving in the frame differently than, than the landscape is. And so it's going to change this a lot in a way that we don't want. So we've got that there. Uh, I'm, I find the best results for myself anyways come from Point Cloud. So I'm going to do that. If Point Cloud is not working for you, maybe you should try out one of the other two options. Uh, let's go Analyze. So green, it's holding on pretty, pretty good there. And it stayed pretty well in place the entire time. That's a good sign. Now let's get this one. This is just a little tracking pin title I made for pretty well exactly this purpose. Uh, now we're going to start from zero. Clicking on here and drop down to see our tracker. If I named it, it would have something other than object track here, but we left it as object track. So there it is. Now it's attached. It's just not in the right position or, or shape. So I'm going to shrink it down. It's a little big for the scene. I should note the way I set my tracker pin up is I wanted the very base of the pin to be at the very center of the frame. This just helps the motion when you're applying motion and translation and, and transforms to this I find it a lot easier to work with when your pin is dead center. So now let's bring that over here and let's see yes we are attached so now let's just play it. Uh, let's get rid of that so we don't see these little boxes and we'll see how it attached. Oh not bad almost no drift there's a tiny bit of drift but overall it is pretty good and so you see it is just that simple the one thing I should make clear is that Final Cut Pro this is not this is a point tracker it is not a 3D tracker so it is not really applying scale to this where you know as you can tell by the footage the home is getting bigger but our tracking point is not getting bigger which makes it look like it's actually shrinking so one way around that is we're just going to add a point here and let's consider that at this point uh, the top of our pin makes it to approximately just the top of, of some trees over here or nearly to the top of some trees over here. So let's try and get maybe a similar scale by the time we reach the end point. Scale that up a bit and let's see if this helps us simulate some 3D look with uh, scaling applying to our map pin that matches our landscape. There we go. I'd say everything that looked unreal about the first one has been pretty well tidied up in the second one by simply just applying two scale keyframes. Now this is pretty straightforward footage, obviously, like we're moving straight forward, literally. So something like keyframing the scale may not be so easily accomplished if, you know, maybe you're doing an orbit or something like that. So that's really all there is to it. As you can see, it is a pretty simple to use tool that is now part of our skill set. Uh, I'm planning to make use of it a lot more and I can't wait to see what other applications I can find for these tracking points. So we'll leave it at that for now. Thanks for watching.